Hey guys, welcome back to the Sexy Beast Show because we're all hotties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and today right. we're doing pickles. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we decided that we wanted to go to the Cowlitz Gaming Expo for children. So basically, the profits go to charity. And well, not all of them. Well, but I think yes. Yeah. Most uh, of them. Uh, the the admission, majority. The admission fee. Yes. Yeah. Easily. All right. So, anyways, Andrew oh. came with us. That was pretty awesome. And uh, <laughs> yeah, like the PRGE. Uh, we were gonna plan on getting a whole bunch of footage, but we barely got anything. So we'll show you the one clip that we did get right now. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And then, and then also he didn't say the line. Right. It's so bad. Anyway, so uh, now we're gonna go and show everyone some of our pickups. All right, Derek, you first. All right, so I got uh, God of War. You know, it doesn't really make sense that that it says God of War and that Kratos is on the cover because honestly, I knew that Athena was the God of War, yet evidently he's trying to take a role. Sorry for any of you who've been playing these games for the it's last couple of years because you probably think I'm a noob. I, I just didn't know that he was trying to steal the spot of God of War from Athena, but it's an intense game and I love the slow motion action sequences, especially the OP of this. Yeah, the, the first level, he's still doing it now. It's like an hour long. You press you press the circle button once right next to a Roman guard and you will literally, you will either split him in half or yeah. stab him three times straight through the abdomen. Now be careful, kids. All right, next game I got, Bomberman Hero. Uh, the label says 20. Well, how much did you pay for the label God of War? Oh. 10. 10, Ten. Bucks. I would talk him down except for the fact that all both of the discs, and it was a two disc set, were basically like new and they were amazing. And it's, yeah, it's pretty good condition. <laughs> you know, two disc special. You know, got the instruction booklet. Instruction booklet. Next I got Bomberman Hero, uh, it was 20, but I asked the guy if I, if I could have him go down to 15, and then I checked uh, the inside, and it turns out that the actual cartridge is still in its wrapping, so even though the box might be a little beat up, it's like the cartridge has never actually been touched. Um, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty awesome. Alright, next game I got, Halo 3, gives us a reason to actually still own the strategy guide now. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, Kyle. So anyways, uh, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I got this for three bucks and this disc is like new. So it's like everything I bought, every everything I bought, what what the game came on, the format of the game, what it, what it was like burned onto seemed nearly brand new, if not brand new. Yeah, um, yeah. make sure to open it up and show them all the inside. Oh. oh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Dun, yeah, that's dun, that's dun, funny. Dun, 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 that's that's dun, dun, real funny. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> and last but not least, I made my first contribution to uh, the laser disc collection we now have, and it's growing. Uh, I got Aliens, the special edition, for ten bucks. Now, literally every other vendor we went to to shop uh, actually said. What's that? And I said, oh, it's it's just the aliens on laser disc, you know. It's the it's the special edition. It's like two discs. And and they said, where did you get that? And I said, oh, that vendor over there. And they were just like, will you excuse me for a moment? And like, that's, that's amazing. Ten dollars. So, yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Basically, yeah. it's different than other like laser disc case because uh, most of them, uh, the little case, uh, the little, well mini case that holds the DVD just comes out sideways. This time, there's actually, it's actually kind of a book. Yeah, here. Um, I'll hold this. So, there's a, a little character page right here, so I'm just gonna open that up really quick. See, this will make all the other laser discs uh, owners go, Game over, man! And then, we also. <laughs> Sorry, that's bad. It also came with this little part here, and then after that, it has uh, two huge discs on top of a thin piece of foam to make it all comforty. So, yeah, that was nice. So, anyways, guys, those were my pickups. Uh, that's it. So I'm just All right, and now from my pickups. That part that, wasn't good for the uh, oh, the, 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 the system. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. I thought I had other stack. So uh, I'll just start by. Uh, well, you've already shown that. You might as yeah, well go yeah. ahead. All right. So the first game, which is kind of a giveaway, is Lego Racers for the Nintendo 64. This I grew up on this game. I played this in like. It was like crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this, 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 it's that good. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> this game was like my childhood. Like, in kindergarten, I went to this private school, and this game was, was, was the stuff. If you, if you were good at this game, you were the popular kid. Like, you were Jordan Belfort, but <laughs> if, if you lost every single game you played, then you'd be a homeless guy on the street making a plate out of a cardboard box. <laughs> okay, so uh, the contents include the uh, instruction booklet. Ooh, it's pretty cool. We'll get close-up shots. <laughs> <laughs> they will be filmed. <laughs> they will be filmed. The magic of editing. And then I got the game, which is pretty awesome condition. No scratches or anything. And then the box. Yeah, that's that's something I've noticed about them. It seems like every single one of these that we yeah, go let's to, put this back so I don't break it. Back while you're like all the happy. cartridges are always in like right. the grace condition. Next, I got Excite Bike 64. Just a pretty common. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, just a little fun one. Just you know, a couple dollars. Yep, three dollars actually. Price okay, by the way, this one was twenty. Yeah, twenty dollars. That's pretty expensive. What is in box? Mm-hmm. I like the box. I like the box. <laughs> and then I got Wave Race 64, and I actually I actually bought uh, this and uh, another uh, and this and this and uh, the special surprise from uh, Luigi Freakout One Two Three. What, Luigi Freakout One Two Three, come back at you. That actually was pretty cool. Gave him that for free. Yeah, yeah. So we got a yeah we got Wave Racer. I have never played this, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a fun one. It's a good one. All right. <laughs> I think my eyes. Are then I got Battle. <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield Bad Company 2, uh, it's an Xbox, I'm going a little modern, but I, I don't know, they're just all over the place. I really wanted to play this game, Kyle's played it, he said it's really good. Yeah. yeah, well I played the first Bad Company and it was pretty good, so yeah. that's yeah. gotta be an Plus, um, I'm a Battlefield junkie, so this, this is gonna be a good one, I'm gonna look forward to it. So. Uh, if you stack any more games on top of that pile, it's gonna become the Leaning Tower of Pisa and it's all gonna tumble over. Calm down. <laughs> so yep, yeah, got the disc and the, uh, the game. Oh, I'm pretty sure I checked the disc to make sure it was in good condition. Yep, the, like it's perfect condition. Yeah, I, I like, don't understand. Like, all the games that we got were in like like new condition. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Whoa. All, <laughs> all right, next yeah. I got a, you won't never recognize this game, oh, Halo 3. <laughs> so we can all play it together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be Halo 3-ing it up. That was three, uh, how much was Battlefield? <laughs> Uh, they were both five dollars. Oh, okay. I thought I thought Halo oh, was three. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Max, it's leaning halfway oh, no. off the table. Don't keep stacking <laughs> yeah, let's it. Move that forward. <laughs> oh, okay. The table's leaning. Yeah, <laughs> not even the table. Uh, yeah, actually, table. I got both for three dollars. Six dollars for, like, hours and hours of entertainment. I say that's a really good deal. All right, next, we've got cables. But what for? I'll tell you what it's for. That controller is kind of unmistakable. <laughs> the N64. N64. Right. Now I have someone to go N64 shopping with. Oh, Thank God. Oh, oh. Yep. I was uh, gonna get an NES first, but uh, well, I found my favorite game of all time right here. <laughs> well, maybe not of all time. Still yeah, need to find Pokemon XD. Funny story. I searched uh, the uh, the expo in Portland all day for <laughs> Pokemon XD uh, and. They didn't, they didn't have it, but I went over to one of the game trader areas, and they're like, Hey, do you have this game? And they're like, oh, we'll have it tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, today I was looking for it too, and uh, they, had a, they had a GameCube that was for Pokemon XD, but no Pokemon XD. So, what I find that I'm going to make a video, and I'm going to be the most happy person in the world. But hey, I got a console. First, yeah, it's not a bad first retro console. Yep, first retro console. I'm a retro guy now. <laughs> Let's just move that. <laughs> yeah. Let's just move this so that it takes Yeah, so over. it's a pretty cool condition. Got little thingies. <laughs> yeah, this and, is, this is good to have. Yeah, so, okay. Does that come with an expansion pack? Oh, uh, no, no, it came with the jumper pack. Jumper pack, yeah. Okay. It's the basic one. Mm -hmm. here, you might so, put yeah, let's uh, let's move these on the ground. And uh, here, uh, is that all my pickups? Yep, I think it is. Yes. How much was the N64? The N64 was uh, $30. From uh, Luigi Freak Out. That's as a well. good deal. Ooh. Good deal. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so now we're gonna move on <laughs> to my pickups here, and uh, mine are actually sorted how I think I bought them. But um, so I went to this one booth first, and uh, they had a lot of cool stuff. They actually had a couple games I was looking for. They had a uh, World of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, and uh, I actually played this at a friend's house a really long time ago. Uh, I think it was Castle of Illusion. I was looking for that one too, but 
I mean, they're pretty similar games, so I went ahead and decided to pick that up. Uh, they had this one marked for $5. And then I also got Jackal for the NES. I've heard this one's pretty fun too. It's a, I think you drive around in a Jeep and you shoot stuff. So, I mean, you can't argue with that. Sounds the legit. That, that was marked for $8. And then I got two box NES games and um, I got uh, The Simpsons, Bart vs. the World uh, in box for uh, $10. Uh, no manual, um, but manual. Yeah, manual. <laughs> manual. <laughs> but, <Manuel. laughs> but it's it's still really cool. And uh, I know it's a terrible game, but the box art, just, I, I just love the box art. Wait, that's time. a game. <laughs> I thought it was a VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, I can tell how how much Derek likes box right. NES games. And then I also got uh, Round Ball. Ba -ba 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 basketball. This looks awful, but uh, <laughs> I just bought it because it was literally, it was marked for four dollars and uh, I had never heard of it before and... I mean, why not, right? I liked box stuff. So, I think I paid, let's see, that was all, that was like 20, they, they had everything marked for 27. <laughs> I just realized how stupid the title of that game is. What ball isn't round? <laughs> round ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Anyway, I think they had this marked for right. 27 and I got it for 25, right. so that was a pretty Okay, Cal, for this next one, we need to, we did it close to camera shot for this one. I just they'll, they'll, can't stress it. They'll, they'll see it. They'll see it. Don't worry. <laughs> This is probably the worst looking game we have ever seen. I have never seen a game that looks this bad. It's And what's it called? It's called Kids on Sight for the Sega CD. Inspired by the makers of <laughs> E.T. Fun for the kid and all of us. <laughs> it's basically like, I don't even know. It, it's like a, it's like a, a real like interactive like game. I don't know how you play it. Want to move on with your life in a terrible I think, way? I think you just click buttons and it sends you on a different path. But yeah, it's like a whole bunch of kids like working on a construction site, so... Uh, <laughs> it looks so bad. It's so bad. Do you want to <laughs> build a bank or a urinal? Once I, once I get... <laughs> <laughs> once I get the right cables to uh, film some Genesis and Sega CD stuff, I'll be sure to review this one. Yeah, this this one's going on review. This one looks bad. So. I, I honestly don't even think it's going to be worthy of a review. I think we're just all going to sit around a TV and play it and just like watch it and just give our impressions on anyway, it. Anyway, that was marked for 10. Yeah. We'll also be reviewing LEGO Racers as well. Mm -hmm. Look forward to that one. <laughs> um, but next year... Yeah, it didn't come with the manual, but I, I had to buy it. Uh, it's called Wirehead. There, that way. Wirehead. This Nerd! Is for five dollars, and this one just looks so freaking weird. I had to buy it. <laughs> he gets mauled and eaten like, by a bear in like, one scene. What is with the Sega CD and having the weirdest freaking game? Oh my <laughs> god. I I don't know, but yeah, this was five dollars. I've been look for, Wait, looking for it for a while. Can I take a look at the back for a second? Sure. Yeah, he, there he's getting eaten by a, a bear. There he's ice skating or something. There he's jumping off of something oh in like God. some Kyle, sort of drag racing. Kyle, I'm just gonna give you advice right now. Don't play this game. It's gonna be kind of messed up. <laughs> and it's like, not in the way you think. Anyway, not that was marked for five. Think. And then the last thing I got at that booth was uh, space, space race. race. Space this, race. This is just like racing with Looney Tunes it's characters. Space. I think. Yeah, in space. Well, isn't that space? And uh, space? this was marked for eight. And so all that together was um, 23. And uh, I got the guy to go down to 20 for that. So that was cool. What are you, you laughing, laughing about? about? <laughs> My god. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, don't forget. Don't forget. Okay, I got two Laserdisc movies also um, at a different booth. Moonraker, one of the best Bond movies. And I mean, just for the freaking art. In space! Like, that is, that is yeah, the that coolest art cool. ever. So I went yeah, ahead. Pretty cool. Art. I mean, for five dollars, I might just like have that like up on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. And then a, a movie I wanted to see for a really long time, and that's War Games. With War Matthew Games, Broderick. classic. And uh, I've never seen it before, so for five dollars, I thought, hey, I'll just I'll watch that. It Guys, awesome. I don't think you mm -hmm. truly understand what sounds wrong about Moonraker. I mean, think no, about no, it. Derek, no, Derek. Moonraker. No. The girls are half naked. <laughs> well, it's a Bond movie. What do you expect? There's one called Octopussy. Um, <laughs> what do you expect? Like, seriously. <laughs> it's Bond. Derek, it's Bond, yeah. Who knew one could have eight so, legs? I spent quite a so bit. I spent 25, let's see, 25, uh, 45, $55. I spent uh, 50. But I mean, $55 for this stuff. I mean, that's pretty awesome. This is probably one of our best pickups in a very yeah, long that time. Yeah, was, that was definitely worth e going to. Even better than the Portland one. <laughs> yeah, so Cowlitz, that was awesome. Because, that, it was amazing. Well, yeah, because there was a lot less people there. 
and there was a lot of cool people selling cool stuff. So. And the mall food was pretty good. The mall food, yeah. Ooh, where's that in space? Though I gotta say, <laughs> Kel Kelso is like completely abandoned. Like the mall on a busy Saturday had like five people just walking down. Back and forth. The, like, the, the rest of the people were only there for the. the <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's like five people who were there to actually shop. Like, there's a Macy's and like maybe two people are in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, guys, it was a cool expo. Um, good trip, good it trip. It seems to be getting bigger every year. I saw a video of the last one and it, was all, it seemed a lot smaller. But um, yeah, it was definitely a good trip. Mm -hmm. It's. It is further away, so most of the people from Portland didn't go to this one, and I think that's why there was so many good games for such great prices. It's because there were, yeah, less people there. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I definitely recommend you guys checking it out next year, and um, hopefully we can go to the Seattle one in June. All right, but yeah, sounds good. So that's it, guys. I yep. hope you enjoyed this video. We got some really awesome stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, got some stiff. See you guys later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this could go on for a while. Okay, we're just gonna end the video. Cool. See, you, see you guys later. Auto pushy. <laughs> Cut. Come on, come on, guys, guys. Come on, come on. No. Cut it out. No, no, Cut it out. Perfectly. Cut it out. Let's end perfectly. Take that, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs>